Hi, this is Jessica with Dining Traveler and welcome to the Dining Traveler cooking series where we try dishes from our favorite destinations and this time we're going to El Caribe, to the Caribbean. And anybody who's been to the Caribbean knows that we love plantains. And we love tostones, they're made from green plantains, they're also known as patacones in some other countries. And these crispy treats are just a virtual trip to the islands. And this is a very simple recipe. And what we're gonna focus more is on techniques so you can make some very delicious tostones, patacones, whatever you wanna call them at home. So let's get started. So the first step is to peel and cut the plantains. So now we're going to cut the plantains and we're going to cut them slightly diagonal, like an inch and a half to two inches. It all depends like the size that you want them. So now we're going to soak the plantains in water. What I do is I get a bowl, put some cold water around the tablespoon of salt and some crushed garlic. This step is optional. If you're super hangry, you can just go ahead and fry them. But I've found through scientific testing me making a bunch of tostones, that soaking them in water just kind of gives them that nice, crunchy, extra feeling. So it's been around 20 minutes, and now we're gonna take the plantains out of the water and dry them with a paper towel. And let's just make sure that we get all the moisture out because we don't want it to splatter all over the frying pan. So now we're gonna get ready to fry the tostones, and it's a two-step process. First of all, make sure that your oil is really, really, really hot. Because what happens if you try to put the plantains while the oil is still cold, it's gonna absorb a lot of the oil, and that's how you get soggy tostones. So what we're going to do is we're going to fry them first for around three to four minutes until they're, they feel a little crispy and then we're going to smash them and then fry them again. So now the tostones are out of the fryer and they're gonna feel slightly crunchy. I'm gonna let them cool down for a few minutes so you can really get in there and smash them. If you have a tostonera, that's great. I don't have one, I broke mine. But I use a small cutting board. This one is pretty heavy, but you can use a small saucepan, ceramic cup, anything that has that weight that you're gonna get the tostón nice and thin. And I like to use a spatula kind of to scoop them out so part of it doesn't get stuck in the surface. So now that we smash them, we add them again to the fryer and we want to let them fry around four to five minutes until they're nice and crispy. Are they yummy? Are they Lucila approved? Mm. And where do they eat tostones, Lou? Do you remember? In where? Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rico, muy bien. So this is how we make tostones at Casa Dining Traveler. Now let's dip them in some mayo ketchup. And if you have any questions, feedback, please leave them in the comments. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.